And, and really, we figured, you know, we found out, um, I'm going to go back to that other view there, just because that other view is pretty nice. So, you know, we, we found out when we wanted to create explosive plays in the run game, um, and obviously this is probably not a statement that's new to football, but uh, we want to create more explosive plays. We put less people in the box. Um, if you want to create a mentality for how to run the football and tell people that you want to run the football, you get in bigger personnel. Uh, and that's where we figured, you know, a lot of our explosive plays came out of these things and, and you know, people load up the box and then that's where we'll have to one throw in the football. Um, so. You know, I think uh, our guys did a really good job this year of when the bo when the boxes were light, um, blocking the people that they were supposed to block, and and allowing our running backs to be extremely explosive, uh, which they are. Uh, so this is Blake Corm here in our, our second game of the year, taking off a counter to the weak side uh, for I think a sixty something, uh, seventy something yard touchdown. Uh, and you look at the back view here. And as we go through this, I'll let the rest of these roll, but really talk about this one here. Um, you can see, uh, you know, we got this set up pretty good. So right here on the backside, we're just running counter to the left. And our backside, our center is going to pull here uh, because we got an open A gap. So most people only pull the guard. Okay. Well, I've done that before and I've done this way. I really like this way. Uh, we'll continue to to multi and, and do both uh, in certain situations. And the reason we do it like this is because it eliminates this back block uh, on this three technique, All right? So right now, uh, we got an open A gap. So now this, here's the point on the backside, we're still gonna take this double team, all right, to this backside linebacker. The center is now gonna be the first pull puller uh, to the defensive end, we're still trying to kick this guy out. All right, we're going to gap hinge by both these two, by the backside guard and tackle, and then the tight end is going to pull around for the front side linebacker. Okay, really good job by the tackle here. Um, you can see him hit the hip and then climb. So he does a good job climbing and pinning this uh, backside linebacker. All right, the, the center does a really good job bringing his hips, kicking out the defensive end, and then the second puller pulls up inside and then allows our electric running back to uh, take this into the house. So again, another, you know, counter scheme. So take this one from the back view. Uh, you know, uh, so again, this is an open uh, A gap, but the reason, you know, our center doesn't pull here because one, a lot of film study things we see, um, but we got a pressure coming here. So he's like, all right, you know what? Instead of me pulling and, or, and, or the guard, you know, me pulling here and this guard having to deal with this guy crossing his face, how about the guard pull? And I block this backside, um, three tech slanting back to the A gap, and I got a better angle. So, um, really good job by the center and identification by the tackle, telling him that there's a pressure on the line of scrimmage, knowing that there's going to be movement. All right, and then uh, everybody else just reacting uh, and playing football and playing on one string. Uh, and really, that's that was a key to our success in the running game is that everybody communicated, um, over communicate rather than under communicate. And and you're all on the same page, and it really doesn't matter what the defense does. Then, as long as you're on the same page, uh, you'll be in really good shape as far as uh, running football. So again, here, same thing, we're in a spread set here and we got these guys a little wider uh, to create a little bit a little bit of room for us in the run game here. Um, and you can see this one, I think this one's on the, uh, yeah. so no pressure here, uh, but same thing, same result, same thought process. Okay, really good job on the double team you'll see here by 76 and 77. Uh, taking this thing um, vertical. Now, you know, sometimes you, you'll knock the hip so hard that you'll knock the guy on the ground and now the guard has a climb. Uh, 
really good job on the tight pull. We're an open pull team, and you can see the, the, the right guard as he goes same foot, same shoulder uh, to kick out the defensive end. And then our tight end does, does a really good job, one with his alignment to not cheat anything and get there with speed, uh, but two does a really good job on contact uh, on the linebacker and, and just making the read declare uh, for the running back here. Okay, so, you know, this one, you know, and it's not always going to be perfect, right? The, the, probably one of the worst things that can happen is corner cat. We saw corner cat at least three or four times uh, in the year on this play, and they were all successful. And the reason they were all successful is that the guys communicated, the guys knew, the receivers communicated to us. Um, like right now, they know it's coming. Um, the tackle, you can see the tackle kind of twists his head uh, right before um, he kind of feels and, and knows that this guy's going inside, so he collects this guy, which allows the center uh, to pull for the, the corner that's coming off the edge, all right? And then the front side, uh, the tight end pulling for the front side backer. Okay, we're, we're short a hat, but we're going to take our chances on the backside linebacker who's um, about four gaps away uh, not making the play. Obviously, a really elite defense. Uh, had to find different ways to try and move the ball on them. Uh, this is the same one. I'm going to skip this. Uh, 